time for talking with Joe. Joe Rose is live from the WQAM studios this morning. Joe, first though, we got to talk about those Panthers rolling to a big road win in Ottawa just a couple of days ago. Things were kind of on the fence. Looked like that playoff spot was slipping away. Now they are just one point behind New Jersey for the final playoff spot. What a resilient team, Joe. Lauren, don't tease me. I mean, this has been going on, this one point, three points in the A spot for a couple of hours. Don't tease me, Lauren. Let's get over the hump. They're playing a lot better, though. That's the good news. And, and it's become pretty consistent the way they played. A couple nice wins here on the road. Uh, looked really good. Scored a ton of goals last night. Uh, but the, this is the way they played now for a while. So I think it's a good sign here down these last 10 or 11 games that they have a really good shot. Now, they were chasing Columbus, and all of a sudden Columbus is like the hottest team in the NHL. But there's some other teams there that if they slow down, Panthers just got to keep winning one game at a time. They're going to get in. But they have really, really played well, picked up the boogeyman system, and uh, it's been fun to watch. You can see they're playing a lot more confidence. It's both the one and two goaltenders are playing well right now. All right, Joe, we will be rooting for them. We won't tease you with tennis, though, because it is here. The Miami Don't Open officially me. underway. I know you yeah. love yourself some tennis. I'm sure you love it on Key Biscayne, do, right? But are you still going to love it when it moves over to Hard Rock Stadium? Do you think it's going to have that same feel once it's no longer on Key Biscayne? Well, I don't think it's going to have the same feel. Look at it. I put up with that traffic. It's terrible traffic going to Key Biscayne, getting in and out. You got a guy over there that wasn't, doesn't want the tournament. He's been trying to push it out uh, and, and everything else. But listen, it's a great atmosphere. It's fun. Even the traffic getting in. I, once I'm there, I, I'm there all day. I, th I think it's great. I know it's got to be upgraded and everything else. That's why it's moving. But, yeah, I, th I think it's going to miss a little something being off the key. you got the hotels out there. I know it's good for the players to have it where they don't have to leave Key Biscayne unless they want to. But, uh, hey, there are some positives. Parking, when you get to Hard Rock Stadium, is going to be a lot better. Getting in and out of there will be a lot better. And if you're a hardcore Core fan tennis is tennis, so we'll, we'll see how it all plays out. But no, it's going to miss a little something. There's no question about it leaving Key Biscayne and, and that facility. Uh, I'm going to miss it a little mm -hmm. bit, no question about it. I have no reason to go to Key Biscayne anymore. <laughs> I mean, that's it. Hey, it's beautiful. There's lots to see there. You can go out to the lighthouse, lots to see. Yeah. You mentioned the parking, though, is going to be better for tennis. I'm curious to see how it's going to affect football games, though, with all those courts there but we'll have to wait and see Joe well we'll that's that's <laughs> a different that's a little different we'll situation <laughs> I know a lot of Dolphin fans Canes fans well what about my parking are there what gonna be tennis tailgating? courts in my parking spot <laughs> yeah yeah all right we'll Joe. Have to see how that all we'll plays talk, out we'll exactly talk more in the next hour have a good one thank you